welcome to the school of happiness friends remember happiness increases as attachment decreases and hence let go attachments let go sorrows and let in happiness remember all pain comes from attachments when you stop trying to grasp own and control the world around you you give it the freedom to fulfill you without the power to destroy you that's why letting go is so important letting go is nothing but letting happiness in worrying or stressing about your attachments can make you sick and unhappy there is no magical cure for attachment the only solution is within your own mind when i let go of what i am i become what i might be if there is one thing we all have in common it's that we want to feel happy and on the other side of that coin we want to avoid hurting yet we consistently put ourselves in situations that set us up for pain letting go of our attachments means letting go of their ability to hurt us it is only when we truly let go that we let happiness into our lives we attach to feelings as if they define us if you have wallowed in regret or disappointment for years it can seem safe and even comforting to suffer in trying to hold on to what's familiar we limit our ability to experience joy in the present a moment can't possibly radiate fully when you are suffocating it in fear we pin our happiness to people circumstances and things and hold on to them for dear life we stress about the possibility of losing them when something seems amiss then we melt into grief when something changes a layoff a break off or a transfer attachments enable regret we tend to cling to the idea that if we could go back we would do things differently as we attach to this idea it fuels us with anger or sadness and ultimately at the regret if we learn to let go of the attachment of changing the past we realize that we simply do not have control over going back and changing anything so why stay angry about it also if there was a magical button that existed that could take you back you would still make the same decision that you made because your choices are based off of who you were at that exact moment your thoughts your beliefs and your desires those are the things that fuel our choices and if you went back in time you would still make the same choice because it emulated who you were at that exact moment of time we think we need our attachments we trick ourselves into believing that we need these attachments because they defy who we are ironically our attachments hinder who we are what we could be letting go of them can bring a much deeper kind of well being as we let go we clear our minds of all the burdens and demands we have been holding on to for so long we open our minds and feel clarity and calmness as our minds are no longer spending all of their energy in maintaining our attachments now let's go for one assignment examine an attachment for today's assignment you will write two drafts about a specific situation in your life that needs clarity or healing for example fight you had a heart ache or a, a something a loved one did that made you upset in the first draft write how you remember it for example how it made you feel in that moment what made you fear or why it upset you and all those things and in the second draft write the story using only facts in this draft you will not include any opinions any assumptions accusations or renderings of the situation just clean facts that you remember and now after writing these two drafts compare these two stories ask yourself the following questions after reading those uh, comparison was the second story less dramatic were you putting too much emphasis on something that wasn't as important in the grand scheme of life how much did this situation actually change or affect your life for the negative is there anything positive you can draw from this situation 
ask these questions to yourself. Why to do this? Let me tell you, once you learn to examine situations in this manner, by taking two different facts, one is dramatic, second is factual, you will start to realize how much wasted energy and emotions went into something that may not have actually mattered to you so much. You'll be able to see these situations from various and brand new points of views that may change the way you feel about them. How we experience the world is largely a result of how we internalize it. Instead of telling yourself dramatic stories about the past, how hurt you were or how hard it was, challenge your emotions and focus on lessons learned. That's all you really need from yesterday. There are things we tell ourselves such as, I can't let him go. I'll be miserable without him. I would die if I lost her. She is all that I have. These thoughts reinforce belief that are not fact. Even if they feel like it, the only way to let go and feel less pain is to believe you are strong enough to carry on if and when things change. Assignment review. Now let me tell you before reviewing the assignment, it is expected from you that you would watch this video twice, once till this moment, completing the assignment, let one day go and then review this assignment. How did your assignment go? When you went to sleep last night, were there other situations you thought of where you let them negatively affect you too much? Sometimes when we examine one situation in our lives, it allows us to see other related and unrelated situations in a new light. Doing this sort of assessment is an essential skill we should get into the habit of doing on a regular basis. Letting go gives us freedom and freedom is the only condition of happiness, a lot of happiness. Learn more. Learning to truly let go of our attachments is not the easiest mountain to climb. But once at the top, the clear view is always worth it. It always brings a lot of happiness. Here are a few more reasons to let go. Your attachments are responsible for almost everything in your life. Remember, they control everything within you, such as your dreams, your hopes, your opinions, your memories, your fears, your emotions, your anxieties and everything about you and many more. Attachments control everything. Attachments are responsible for all the pain in your life. It is only through mindfulness which we will discover soon that we can rise above these attachments and detach from them to get more happiness. Becoming aware of what fuels us, what makes us happy or sad, angry or mad allows us to have better control over these emotions without letting our attachments to do so. There are health benefits to letting go as well. Healthier relationships, spiritual and psychological well-being, less anxiety, less stress, less hostility, lower blood pressure, fewer symptoms of depression, stronger immune system, improved heart health, higher self-esteem and many more things. These along with many more are the mental and physical health benefits of releasing one's attachments. Just think of all the prescriptions and medicines we feed ourselves every single day to cure some of these ailments. When in some cases we all have to do is simply let go, detach from the attachments. You can't change the past even if you think about it over and over again. Even if you punish yourself, even if you refuse to accept it, it's done. The only way to relieve your pain about what happened is to give yourself relief. No one and nothing else can create peace in your head for you. When you hold on to the past, it often has to do with fear. Fear you messed up your chances at happiness or fear you will never know such a happiness again. But if you focus on what you love in the now, you will create happiness in the present instead of worrying about the loss of it in your past. Now let's go for the second assignment, very important one, write and burn. First, think about something that happened that truly angered you or evoked an intense and painful emotion. For example, the loss of a loved one or a tumultuous relationship or a broken friendship. On a fresh sheet of paper, take 5 minutes to write your thoughts on this matter. Letting go of the pain doesn't happen by ignoring it or pretending it didn't happen. By writing down these feelings, you declare them. 
It is important to declare your feelings and understand them. Read what you wrote two times. Step outside after you complete this assignment and burn the piece of paper. These feelings happen within you, but they do not define you. Remember, envision that you are the river and your emotions are the stream. They are constantly flowing, coming and going, but never staying in perpetuity. Why this? Why to do this? Remember, no matter how well you do everything on your list for peace, you will lose things that matter and feel some level of pain. But it doesn't have to be as bad as you think. As the saying goes, pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. By writing down your feelings and proceedings to burn them, you are declaring yourself as moving past them. Just like that piece of paper, you can choose to burn away those negative thoughts and feelings and keep moving on. The important thing to remember here is that this process is an action that only you yourself can take. Only you can let go of your attachments, no one else. First complete this assignment, let one day pass and then review this assignment. In the assignment, you were asked to burn away your attachments to something. How did you wake up feeling about it today? Did you still feel that pain? Did you? Pain isn't something that goes away or overnight. It takes time. So don't feel discouraged if you didn't wake up feeling all of a sudden detached. Because attachment is a very big thing. Most of the time, pain lingers for so long because we don't actually let go when we thought we had. We build fortresses our pain and hope that if we leave them out of sight, they will stay that way, which they never do. It's only when we commit to letting go that we start process of healing. By expressing your feelings, allowing yourself to feel them fully and then deciding to move past them, you have begun the process. Only positive thought and time will keep on moving you forward. Remember, stay positive, accept what is, let go of what was and have faith in what will be. Life will be beautiful and live a happy life. After all, happiness is just a choice. And everyone has this choice and everyone can make it. So make the choice of happiness. Stay away from attachments. Stay away from those things which are forcing you to be sorrowful, to be sad and obstructing you in being happiest in the world. Choose happiness, stay happy. Thank you very much.